Hello everyone and welcome to What's in the Hat with Hatters Forward, Elijah Adebayo. Elijah, we've randomly picked plenty of images from the start of your career up until present day. They're in the hat, you're going to be putting your hand in there, pulling them out, just like a magic trick. And we'll be talking all about those memories that pop up. Right, show it to this camera just here. Youth career, that's where you were. Uh, a club that obviously have had a huge presence in the Premier League there, a massive club. You got to start your career there. What was that like? Uh, yeah, I joined at a really young age. Um, I think I joined in 2006, I think I was about eight. Um, and it was obviously younger ages you go there and you, you don't really know what you're going into. It's kind of just uh, starting out as an academy player and going and enjoying your football. Um, and then as you go up, uh, things get more serious as, as you get older and um, I can't say nothing but, but good things about the academy, the, the group of players that I played with, um, the staff that I worked with. Um, it was really enjoyable for the time that I was there. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't quite make it into the first team, but um, again, they've given me that springboard to then go and uh, further my career elsewhere. Right, let's have a look at the next one then. Deep dive into the magic hat. Oh. Which one have we got? Oh. Here we are. You can hat trick against Brighton. Turn it around. Had to get this image in there <laughs> as well. I mean, what an experience that must have been for yourself, for the club. Talk me through that moment of just being like, scored a Premier League hat trick. Um, yeah, I mean, I think when the third goal went in, um, I think me and me and Carlton, we kind of looked at each other and I was just like, well, that's just happened, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was a, it was a great feeling. Um, I can't put into words how I was feeling at the time. Um, I was obviously happy again that I scored another goal and we're obviously 4-0 up and uh, things are going so well on, on the evening. For me personally, as a, for a personal achievement, um, it was obviously outstanding. Right, let's get back into that. Let's pick the next one. Oh. Oh. OK, Luton Town Football Club. Talk to me about the relationship you have with the fans, the stadium. When they came to the Premier League, everyone was so excited to get down there and be able to get to a stadium like that. What's it like playing for this club? Special, um, if I can put it into, into one word. I mean, when I joined, I think not many people knew a lot about me. Um, I was obviously playing in League Two. Um, and then as the years have gone on, um, I've obviously started uh, hit the ground running with when I came here and I think then the fans took a liking to me and um, the gaffer at the time was really good with me um, and obviously I learned a lot from him and then Rob's come in now and again he's just given me that self-confidence to play how I want to play and obviously having these group of players with us with me as well is, is fantastic we we have a special bond I've said it a few times that this group is just unique and then in terms of the fans, the fans come in, their numbers, obviously the, the ground's quite small, but it's intimidating for an opposition, opposition player and that's the way we want to make it. We want to make it hostile and um, making sure that they're on top of you as well as we're on top of you on, on the pitch. But again, this place is, is fantastic and I'm, I'm glad that I came here. Right. <laughs> I want to talk about this one. All right. <laughs> Sent the back to a striker, but you actually started when you were younger as a striker. Mm -hmm. So how do you go from striker to centre back, centre back back to a striker? Talk, talk me through that. I got bored of playing centre back. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think it was when I was 14. Um, there was a there was a change. Um, I was obviously bigger than everyone else, and I was a commanding figure, and I was a leader, and I spoke uh, very well on the pitch. So um, and I could understand the game very well. So it was a decision they thought one, one training session they'll try me there and uh, I, was, I was very good. So um, it was a case of them thinking of a new position that I could play. Um, and then obviously as I got a little bit older, I say I got bored, but I just started dribbling out and um, trying to score goals, staying up the pitch. And then it was like, whoa, all right, he's scoring goals now. Um, do we want to go and put him back up? up the top and I was playing centre back but I was an emergency striker um, for some some games as well when we needed the goal and then I think around 19 was when we had the conversation before the season started is what position do you want to play and um, 
I said I wanted to play striker. Do you think we'd have got a Premier League hat trick by playing centre back? Maybe. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe. Right, let's get back into the hat, let's see. Uh, right. Oh. Wembley. I mean, let's go back to that day, playoff final against Coventry. You grew up not too far mm -hmm. from there as well. That's what dreams are made of. Yeah, that day was, uh, it was, it was fantastic. The day, the day before when we travelled down, we went to go and see the stadium and obviously it was empty just to get a f uh, familiarise ourselves with, with the stadium and where our obviously families and that were going to be, what changing room we were going to be in. And then the day was just, I didn't actually feel any nerves on the day, which is, which is actually crazy. I, I was more excited to play the game. I wanted to get the game going because I trusted the, the work that we had put in for on the training ground with the boys and all the boys were confident going into, into the game. And yeah, the, the game started off very, very well. We obviously could have been a couple of goals up, but we weren't. I think that was just the nature of the day. To put all that hard work in, even with the penalties, we did so much on the penalties, um, if it had got to that stage, and it did. And everyone did their job. Um, I was I probably cried about four times before <laughs> the penalties were even coming, but yeah. And then afterwards, the celebration, being there with families, I mean, this is like, we're family here, basically. So to be able to celebrate with, with everyone, the gaffer, and you know, we had the thing with Locks as well, um, to be able to do that for him was, was also special. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why I put this one in here, because I saw the club tweeted your full name. Mm -hmm. From the man himself, I want to hear your full name. Let's hear it. Elijah Onoluapo Oluwafermi Oluwatomi Oluwalana Ayomi Kulei Adebeo. Your heritage, how much does that mean to you as a person away from football, within football as well? Yeah, I mean, heritage is, is big for me, obviously. Um, my mum, uh, she was born in Nigeria and she came here. And obviously I've been back to Nigeria when I was young. Um, I'm obviously looking to go again. Grandma lives in, in Nigeria. So um, the, the heritage is, is there and I'm, I'm proud to be Nigerian. Um, so and I would love to play for Nigeria. So it's, it's just a case of, I think my, my mum will be very, very proud. It'd be a proud day for her to see me play for Nigeria as well. So yeah, um, it, it's special. Final one, uh, who's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, the gaffer. Yeah. Talk to me about Rob Edwards as your manager. I can't put into words, he's just, he's a good guy. Um, he knows his stuff and obviously having been at Watford um, earlier on before he came in here, was uh, obviously a, l a learning curve for him. And then ever since he's come here, he's just, he's been good with the boys. He's been good with the staff. He's been good with the fans. And we as players love him. He's, he's down to earth. He's just, he gets the players. And that passion is there. You see him at the end of games. He's up there with the fans. And he's, he's got that emotional side to him. You saw him in the final with locks. You saw him at Bo Bournemouth with locks. He's just uh, genuinely a good human being. And um, at this football club, we have good human beings here and everyone gets on. And I don't think I can say a bad word about the gaffer. Um, uh, he's been fantastic with me as well uh, since the first day he came in. So um, I hope that I'm repaying him for the trust he's given me. Elijah, absolute pleasure to chat to you this season. Looking forward to seeing how it ends. And coming back in a few years, a few more images, yeah. and we'll talk about your career, where it's going. Yeah. Nice Cheers. One. Thank you. Thank you.